Hey guys, welcome to the very first fan package on my show. Um, now this is a very, very special package. I've been talking to uh, Doug for a while. He's uh, been a fan of the show for a long time. And he, I, he finally uh, got uh, a very nice package together. And I'm very, very grateful that he sent this. He actually sent a very, very long letter for me to read. Um, and I appreciate you sending this. I'm not going to read it on camera, uh, but thank you. Thank you. I very, I very much appreciate you sending us these things. Now, what he has sent us is all these uh, different sauces, uh, and along with candy, but... Uh, You've already seen a couple of candies. Uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, this is from pa uh, Canada. <laughs> this package is from Canada. I'm not sure if you can see that on the box. Canada Post. Anyways, uh, so Doug Mumbercat, this is for you. This review is all about you today. And, and thank you, thank you, Mike. Again. Was so excited when he got this package. I was. I was really excited to get this package. It was the first first thing uh, a fan has ever sent me. Um, there's been a couple of fan arts, but um, I haven't been, they haven't been sent to me. Uh, but this is the first, very first fan package. And uh, hopefully we'll have more fan packages like this. I've already been talking to a couple of fans that have been uh, wanting to send me stuff and I finally got a P.O. box ready and yeah, anyways. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead and get to the review. I'm gonna take all these things out and we'll do them one by one. Also, I'd like to say a very special happy birthday to Doug's wife, Joanne. Um, this one is also for you, and because you also watch the show, I know that. So uh, thank you for tuning in and subscribing. So And I hope you have a very good birthday. I hope it's a very special, special birthday, okay? You guys, both of you, both of you have a good day, a good day on this day. So let's go ahead and give, the first one is a, uh, from... President's Choice, La. Oh no, that's yeah, that's, that's La Choice. This is French. It's <laughs> new. Um, sauce picante, chipotle hot sauce. And uh, I think he said that the President's Choice and the Dave sauce are a staple in Canada. You gonna open it up? Okay. Yeah, I think he said they were a staple in Canada. Um, I can't really get these out this way. But I believe they have a website you can go to. Uh, it's not on the bottle, but... Safety cap! <laughs> Foiled again by the safety cap. I hate these safety caps. There's no point to you. Safety cap. No point. Ooh! Get your spoon. If you don't like this sauce. Or at least I like it. I already, I already like the smell of this one. It reminds me of something else. Hopefully it tastes like something else. Mm. Go. Go ahead and give it a go. Huh. Steak. Oh yeah. Yeah, this would be a great steak sauce. Um, it The smell reminds me of uh, A1 sauce, but uh, the taste has a little bit... Uh, it's not as uh, sharp, I guess, as... Um, a1 steak sauce. I don't think I've ever had A1. Okay, so it, it kind of tastes like this, except sharper. <laughs> um, it has like a little more of a kick to it. Mm -hmm. This one's a pretty good sauce. Um, it's definitely a good uh, chipotle sauce. That's why it's a little smoky. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a pretty good pretty good sauce. And it really doesn't have too much of a heat. If it does, it's a little bit, uh, I'd probably give it a one. Uh, but for flavor, what would you give it? It was really good for flavor. I'd say a three. Three? Three? Okay, yeah, I'd give it a solid three. It's a little um, little more mild than most sauces, um, and it definitely is made for steak, so. Mm -hmm. uh, but honestly, Oh I, man, we should go to Costco, get, some, get one of those little, you know, like pulled those, pork sandwiches. Oh, oh goodness. Get the pulled pork and put this on it. It'd be good on there. Honestly, I like uh, A1 steak sauce better, but that's because I was I grew up with A1, and it's just like a staple. It's like one of those sauces that you you go to every time. So, 
but it's not a bad sauce. Uh, good alternative to A1 steak. So let's move on to the next one. This is also another President's uh, Choice sauce. And this one is just authentic Louisiana hot sauce. Canada. <laughs> let's, let's have a talk about this. Authentic. Mm -hmm. We'll be the judge. Hey, there's a lot of Mexican food places that call themselves authentic Mexican food. And they have the thing called a Mexican pizza. What the? What's that? That's like, I was in Mexico and we had a pizza and it was a pizza. It wasn't any different from yeah, a regular. It was, it, it was a pizza in Mexico. Yeah, that's the only thing. It was geographically made and eaten in Mexico. So technically it was a Mexican pizza. Yeah, technically. And they had pepperoni and tomatoes and <laughs> all the normal stuff you'd find here. Alright, alright. Valid points, all of that. <clears throat> also, what is it with the... What's what's that meat? What did they do to the, to the meat? They mush it? What, ground, ground, ground beef? Ground yeah. beef? Yeah. Never saw any of that growing up. Oh, uh, she's referring to Taco Bell, by the way. Yeah. Uh, actually, a lot of uh, Mexican food places that are commercial like that do ground, ground meat. No. And that's like mm -hmm. more of an American thing, but... Mm-hmm. Never trust the ground beef because of it. I actually like ground beef. So Unless it's on the hamburger. It's the white way of doing it. Like cafe colas. Mmm. We had cafe cola today. Oh yeah, cafe cola. Oh. Amazing burgers. Amazing burgers. And there's zombie fries. Amazing fries. Oh my god. Okay, so zombie fries, they they give you this big basket of fries and you can put whatever you want. So we get like bacon, jalapenos, cheddar, uh, we get buffalo, ranch on it, everything. Everything. We'll have to do a review of uh, zombie. Uh, we'll have to do a review of Cafe Cola one of these days. I'll have to. It'll probably be cool enough for us to come in and do it. He remembers reckless eating. Oh yeah, and and the owner remembers your name like forever. We've been going there for for a while now. And there are gaps in between our yeah. visits too. But he will remember you by first name. Yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy. Anyway, super nice. Super nice guy. Let's go. Okay. I really like that. Yeah. It's generic. To me, this is a generic vinegar sauce. Now, I went through a string of generic vinegar sauces. Okay, but... but and they all taste exactly like this. <laughs> no, but these are... This is the kind of, like, Louisiana sauce <coughs> I like. And, like, I'm very picky, particularly, like... I will only this? eat this one. Yeah. Okay. I'll use that a lot, definitely. I'm gonna put that on pizza. And it's all yours, though. Yeah, yeah, it's all mine. I like I like the the, the tab Tabasco sauce better than um than these ones. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a good it's a Louisiana sauce. I've actually never had an authentic Louisiana sauce, so. For that, we'd have to go to Louisiana. We'd have to go to Louisiana and have some, but just have to. But for me, it's just a generic sauce. I get a, I get these sauces a lot when I do the uh, big lot sauces. They all taste exactly like that. Every one of them. I, I like them. I like this type of buffalo sauce, even though it's really vinegary. I like it. All right. What would you give it for heat? Because it didn't really have much heat. No. Uh, not not much heat there. I think it's a one. Yep, it's a one. So uh, what what about flavor? Flavor, mm, I give it a two. A two? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give it a two as well because of the generic nature of this sauce. Um, there's just too it's too there's too many of these ones. They all say pretty much the same thing, and they're all pretty much the taste the same. And it's just like, come on, guys, add a little more, add a little something else to it. Uh, but it's an it's a clone. It's a clone sauce. But to be fair, there are a lot of these clone sauces. So, they have a place. Just and that's not. with me. <laughs> Alright, so we're on to the next one. This one is uh, green jalapeno uh, jelly. This is, uh, this is jelly. Um, it's going to be similar. I, have, I did do a review for it, but I got it from the Arborino. You remember? Oh, it's gonna be similar to that. This is like a jalapeno kind of jelly. It was you really went good. through that stuff, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I went through it like crazy, like candy. Oh, 
but this one's from Canada. Um, it may have melted a little bit. I think I should have put it in the it's fridge, but... Uh, no, it's it's fine, but you'll have to put it in the fridge after. Okay. Okay, just, just grab... Uh, just <laughs> put your spoon in there. It's a, little, it's a gelatinous mess. <laughs> well, let's give it a go. You know, it tastes like this, uh, the, the candy. It tastes like Mexican candy. It does. It's those, um, you know the candies I'm talking about? The ones that you squeeze out? Yeah, it tastes exactly like that. That's so weird. I think they're called Duvalines, I'm not sure. Duvalines, I think. Mm. But anyways. Trip to downtown for some Mexican candy. <laughs> Actually, I have some Mexican candy I need to share with you. We'll get a lot for Matt. He had a whole bag he gave me. <laughs> it's in uh, it's in my uh, thing over there. I'll share it with you. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so yes, this tastes like Mexican candy, which is weird. Um, it's not. It's sweet. It's super it's, sweet. It's super sweet. Definitely good for uh, toast. Um, what would you give it for heat? Because I don't think there was much heat. There wasn't much heat air at all. I I did not get any kind of kick from that. Yep. So. Zero kicks, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh, so uh, it's a zero. It's a, it's a flat. I'm not going to even put it up there because it wastes my computer space when I do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for flavor, what would you give it? A two. A two. I'm going to give it a three out of five. <coughs> it's pretty good. Um, it tastes too much like like candy for me to put it on toast. Um, mm, English muffins. Yeah, but the ones I've had, I've had better, I've had better jelly, honestly. I've had the, a better version of this. Oh, this is the first jelly I've had. Yeah, you need to try the other ones. No, you had, um... The Arboreto one? No, you didn't have the Arboreto one. It was pretty damn tasty. But a good comparison is the habanero, um, thing that Greg made. You guys don't know, I have a... I don't right. think I ever got to taste that. That's bullshit. I let you taste it. I taste it. <laughs> Anyways, my friend, my friend, yeah, I did. I had you taste it on toast. Well, I don't remember that. Okay, so, anyways, you can't remember something. Yeah. Oh, that was like homemade. That was homemade, but that was homemade and it was really good. But anyway, I digress. So, the, the Arborino one, I think, has a more of a pepper flavor to it and That's a, a the, sweet um, as well. Arboretum, the LA County Arboretum in Arcadia. Which I'm surprised they don't have an Arborito. They need to sell an Arborito at the Arborito. It just makes sense, It's Patty. gorgeous. It has a lot of gardens. There's peacocks everywhere. But there's no Arborito. And... <laughs> I'm no longer contractually obligated to laugh at his corny jokes. Somebody out there is laughing at my corny jokes. <laughs> Somebody. Please. Anyway, we're moving on. And what is this? <laughs> okay, it's Dave's sauce. <laughs> Dave's famous chicken wing sauce. Oh. Okay, something I must admit, which is partly why I'm biased towards Louisiana hot sauces, is that I really like hot wings. Yeah, she loves hot wings. Mm -hmm. Whenever we go to Wingstop, we get the... Um, I always get the same stuff. Always get the same stuff. Like the original. Uh, Love them. Oh. Oh, oh. It's a tease. I'm trying to tease me. Yeah, but this one kind of smells more like a regular hot sauce as opposed to a wing sauce. Yeah. No, it smells like a chicken, like a good chicken sauce. Let's give it a go. That's weird. It has a weird taste. Mm -hmm. It does. Honestly, it's not a bad taste. It's just strange. Like you can't pin it down. Yeah. Uh, I I, I want to equate it to like ketchup mixed with hot sauce, but not as sweet and a little more. Uh, has a little more spices in it. 
That's almost like what it tastes like. I don't know about it being a wing sauce though. Mm -mm. This, uh, if I were to put that in here, I think they would be perfect, honestly. So this needs a little more of that. I hate to say it, but yeah, <laughs> um, it's it's not. I don't think it's going to be the best wing sauce I've ever tasted. Because it's different. You know what it is? It's got a lot of salt. I taste a lot of salt in this. Um, in fact, let's see how much the sodium is. 700 milligrams per um, per thing, which is a ta two tablespoons. It's a lot of salt. I think they need a... Hey, Dave. Gotta back it up on the salt. You're gonna give me a heart attack. And I've had a lot of salt once. When I did the the tapio jug, it's a lot, a lot, a lot of salt. <laughs> um, but there's no heat there. Oh, uh, tomato juice. That's what it is. Uh. Tomato juice. That's why it tastes like ketchup to me. Tomato juice. Uh, no heat. Again. Did you get a little bit of heat? Nope. I didn't get any heat from it. Um, but what would you give it for flavor? I don't know. Ugh, I don't it's kind of off, right? Yeah, I don't like ketchup. She doesn't like ketchup, so you're going to give it a... Well, I eat it. I just don't like it by itself. Like me, I like it by myself. He'll drink shots with it. <laughs> I will. Um, for flavor, I'd give it a one. It's just not my thing. It's not your thing? I'm gonna give this a uh, two out of five. It's not like the greatest sauce I've ever tasted. Um, I probably will not go out, go out and get this again. Um, I think they need to tone back the salt uh, a lot, and they need to add a little more vinegar and a, and a little more and a kick, uh, some kind of pepper in this. If you don't like peppers, then maybe this might be good for you. But I just I'm not a big fan of the tomato juice kind of whatever the. F this is <laughs> honestly hmm. uh, it's just so, but it would probably go good in a drink uh well like a bloody mary yeah yeah but you need to add a little more salt you need you need if you're gonna put this in an well maybe if you put this like in a mild bloody mary yeah if you but you have to have like something else in it so get this get some pure evil just the original you don't have to get the 9.5 million um, and just one drop, trust me. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. Um, get the original Pure Evil, this, and you can make a really good Bloody Mary, probably. But that's a lot of work for a Bloody Mary. So, there you go. All right. But thank you, Doug, for sending us all these. Thank you so much for sending you, uh, sending, uh, sending you, sending us all these sauces to try and the candies. I still have a couple more to try. Uh, you can try this on camera. This this is this is damn good. What is it? This uh, coffee. Uh, you had me at coffee. Co what was it? Coffee crisps. I wish we had these in the states. I have not seen it out in this, out this way yet. But this is just damn delicious. Christopher Walken already gave it a review. If you mm. want to check that out. Oh my god! Why don't we have these? I know it's like amazing in your mouth, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? There you go. That's a review. She gives it a 5 out of 5 seal of approval. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there you go. So, mm. it's like amazing in your mouth. I cannot Why stress this Why don't we have enough. these? These coffee crisps are amazing. <laughs> we have every other known coffee product. But we don't have these. these. We don't have these. All right. Thank you guys for joining us for mm. my very first fan package. Again, thank you, Doug. And happy birthday, Joanne. Um, we will see you guys on the next one. So stay frosty. Mm, candy. <laughs>